everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. And I'm in the Gardener. And today we are getting the Tower Garden Aeroponic System planted again with broccoli. We had it planted with broccoli, but it died from the cold snap. So we're gonna get it replanted with the seeds that we sowed about six weeks ago. We're just gonna bare root these to individual seedlings and then put them into the rock wool cubes. We're modifying because I didn't order what I was supposed to order, I forgot. So we're gonna use what we have, which is fine. Hydrocorn, or uh, I'm sorry, rock wool. And um, you know, I think it's gonna work out great. You've been growing in hydroponics since you were like eight. Yeah. I don't wanna lead you to the answer, but is this your favorite system? Yes. It, it's the most user-friendly, yeah. right? Like a lot of our other hydroponic systems need a lot of maintenance. The tower garden is really special in that it doesn't. It runs on its own. It does have a very intricate timer. Aeroponics is a type of hydroponics that runs water for 15 minutes and then doesn't. It, it rests for 15 minutes. And in that time, the roots kind of naturally prune themselves. Now, it's not unusual to still have roots that will grow all the way through the system, but you can grow in this one 24 different plants in three square feet. So it's really a great space saver for people who don't have a lot of room, maybe only have a patio, but you have an interest in growing plants. Tower garden is what I would actually suggest doing over container gardening because it's more productive. Okay, so we're gonna get started and um, show you how easy this is. All right, so you see that's nicely rooted. I'm actually just gonna break off as much soil as I can right here in these, in these pots. And now, dunk it into water. Ta-da! You do not have to get it perfect at all. I've, I've learned that over the years. And so in that one, there were actually three broccolis. So we will divide them individually. And we're just gonna put it in the rock wool like that. And it's fine if the roots hang down. I'm just gonna pull it up and make it sort of neat and tidy. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it so it's nice and wet. And now I'm just gonna pop it right in, roots down into the basket. And that's all there is to it. You can see the whole thing is planted. We did all one type of broccoli. This is green magic. And we left one unplanted because it has a resident tree frog, which I think is the cutest thing in the whole world. And another testament to why the tower garden is so great because it basically has frogs in it like all summer long too. It's, in fact, you would be amazed at how many frogs you find living in the tower. So now Aiden is getting out the nutrient solutions, something he's a bit of an expert at. And over the years, we've also learned just kind of wing it. It's probably not the best advice. Do we usually do two or three? Like two and a half. Okay. Two to three. Two to three of each. So with nutrient solution, they're gonna have different ratios. It's the one you're using now. What is that? That is no nitrogen. So 034 NPK. And this one is mostly nitrogen 502. So they balance out. And I really like the Tower Garden nutrient solutions. I just I have to order that along with new baskets. Because my baskets have I actually have quite a few that tomato roots mangled and they ended up you know, having to get discarded. But there's that little tree frog again. Oh my God, it's so cute. So now I just gotta turn the, the timer back on and it'll be up and running. Like I said, the timer is not the kind of timer you'd use for like watering your lawn. It's much more intricate. And I just wanna make sure in the time that it wasn't running, that nothing went wrong. Probably should have done that before we planted. I'll just hit on it's and it's running all right so I think I'll just let it go back to timer 
and it'll turn on as needed. Aiden's become a really good photographer. He's been capturing all of these tree frog photos. You can see the tower garden is running. See where you don't have baskets, the water runs through. So it's a water pump, pumps it up just like a fountain and then it gravity feeds down. And again, you can see that nutrient solution makes the water a slightly amber color. Well, I hope you'll be inspired to consider growing aeroponically like we do in the tower garden. The link for learning more about it is in the description. I also hope that in general, you will just look at growing more of your vegetables from seed. As I mentioned in another video, I'm, I'm appalled at how expensive vegetable plants are, are at, like in, in Lowe's and Home Depot at $5 a piece. That doesn't make sense. You know, here we have what, 20 broccoli plants, all of which we grew from seed and the seed costs probably around $2 a packet and there was probably 150 or 200 seeds in the packet. So growing from seed is the solution. And if you don't have a lot of space, consider getting a tower garden. You can grow a lot of different plants. You don't have to just grow one thing. And it only takes up three square feet. So it's definitely my favorite way to grow in water. And I think it has Aiden's stamp of approval too. Well, if you found this video to be helpful, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to the Breathe a Plant Lady YouTube channel for more practical gardening advice. Thanks for watching, everybody.